Oh, hello. You're, you're fire. I need fire. Alex, we're going to be all nice and tucked in bed here in a few minutes. Let's just chill out, Dave. Boy, I wish I had some sprint. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Well, hey, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and yes, you saw it correctly. We are back on the long dark. Now, I was playing this yesterday on my own time. I just... Life has been kind of really hard for me lately. It's, you know, IRL has got some shit going on in it that's just... Well, let's just say the long dark suited my mood yesterday. And I had a lot of fun with it. It was just one of those, you know, game sessions where just a lot of weird things happen, and it's just really funny and brilliant and... It got me wanting to play it again online, so... Sorry, I had to cough there. So what I'm thinking I'll do is I'm going to do another survival mode. We're going to, like, Season 2. So I have a new one. We're going to do what we did last time. We're going to go for Stalker. Let me turn the music down slightly. Yeah, we're going to go for Stalker because I like the loot levels and I like the extra animals being, you know, more aggressive and everything else. But unlike the first 200 Days of Fever, which... I, again, I regret that we had to end that series because it was a lot of fun. But yeah, we're going to do this one. Instead of starting in Timberwolf, we're just going to pick a random map. Please God, let it not be Ash Canyon, Hush River, or Desolation Point, or this is going to be a very short series. <laughs> but yeah, I figured we'll pick a map at random. We'll just do everything we can to go up Timberwolf and get kitted out and everything else. And then we're just going to try and do 200 days of outside time. Now, if you didn't see the first series, or you have no idea what I'm on about, I played this game a lot, and I have this kind of personal challenge thing going where I don't sleep or pass time inside or any area that the game considers inside, and there's a lot of them that you would think would be, co you know, outside areas that aren't. But yeah, we're just going to try and get 200 days where every hour slept and rested is going to be an outside hour. And, like I said, just kind of hang with it, it'll make sense. Um, again, our first and primary goal, first thing, is going to be to get to the top of Timberwolf and get some decent clothes. But we'll get poor Dave out of retirement, and we'll see if we can't find some mountains to throw him down. Oh, yeah, and we're not going to do... I mean, I've got a lot of badges to play with, and I'm not doing any of them. We're just going to be a complete newbie. We're going to start from scratch. And we're going to call this YouTube 200S02. Alright, and oh, and this is not going to be like a regular series, I don't think. I'm just going to basically do these whenever I'm in the mood. It'll just give me something to do, you know, just a chance to play and have a goal. So, with all that big caveat in place, let's go play. Alright, please God, not Desolation Point, not Ash Canyon, and not the other one I said. Uh, life's error making, error correcting. Yep. Well, survival. Oh God. Uh, are we on? Are we on DP? Hope. Oh. Okay. Here's a trick you can do, just so you know. Oops. Hold on. We can go to the map, and it will tell us where we are. We are on Coastal Highway. Okay. Now that I know where I am, where the fuck on Coastal Highway am I? This is. Oh God. I'm up by the feckin' bear. Brilliant. Great place to start. Okay, well, you know what? Yeah, this is the kind of thing I was talking about. This is the sort of start we had yesterday. Okay, you know what? Picking up sticks can wait for a minute. I need to get the hell out of here. Fuck off, bear. Oh, that's me. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, Dave, you just scared the shit out of me. 
All right, well, it's only noon, so that's decent. We should be able to get through the dam and out the other side before dark. At least before we need a rest. And it being halfway through the day also means I can spend a bit of time running because I need to burn that energy off anyway. Okay, this cabin's up here. Come on. I'm pretty sure I don't have... Yeah, there's no way in hell this game's going to start me with a hacksaw. So, saplings, I'm going to have to come back for you at another time. Hey, at least I know where the bear is, so I don't have to worry about him. He won't come up here, anyway, unless he follows me up. And I don't think he had enough of my scent to follow me this far. Um, I hope he didn't, anyway. Alright, saplings, I'll come back for you some other day. I think I mentioned that already. Okay, what we need now is we need sticks. I need lots and lots of goddamn firewood, is what I need. Oh, and not to break anything. That would be nice. Dave is... I'm going to call him a little bit prone to sprains. Oh, shush, Dave. D Dude, we've been at this two minutes and already you're breathing heavy and almost been killed by a bear. Um, oh, I got some bullets. Revolver bullets, too, which is nice. That's something we didn't have last time, was a revolver, so hopefully that's going to make it... Uh, well, we did at the end, but hopefully that's going to make my life nice and easy. Uh, what do we got? Okay. Nope. Oh. A little bit of FUD. I got no fire skills, so I'm going to need to make some tinder. Uh, clothing would be a nice start. Oh, all right, at least one's open. I could use this. Yeah, you are going to use this. We're going to throw them things on in just a minute, in fact. I should probably look at my clothes and see what I've got on. Let's, whoops. Well, I guess we're doing that first. Okay. Great. I've got a plaid shirt. Pants, jeans, and well, at least I got trail boots. They look halfway decent. A whole two-degree clothing bonus. All right, well, there's one thing we're going to have to do. Okay, stop doing that. You... Honestly, thank you. You're not playing the other game now. You're playing this one. Yes, I was hoping yesterday would serve as, like, practice and I would get better at this, but no, I haven't. Okay, I'm going to break down a couple curtains real quick. we got plenty of time for this. Yeah, I can do all this crap, like crafting and stuff. I can do that inside, no problem. What I can't do is rest at all. Now, uh, I'm trying to remember how to do this because I didn't do it yesterday. Okay, I need... Um, where's the crappy cloth hat? Oh, I don't have a goddamn sewing kit. Okay, well, you know what? Forgot about that part. We have the cloth on us anyway. Hopefully we can get a sewing kit when we're running through the uh, dam. Okay, it's really bloody cold out now. And foggy. Brilliant. You know what? I might... I hate to, because there's a wolf that kind of lurks up there, too. But I might have to run over to the trailer. Because there should be a pry bar outside of it, and that will be a help. And we can actually take a little time to get warm. Yeah, well, we're working on it, Dave. Just chill. Trust me. I don't want you to get frostbite any more than you want frostbite. We just need to get you inside and warmed up, buddy. Because we got a long ways to go. Now, just in case. Okay, I do have a flare. Perfect. And a spring. Even better. Oh, my itch. Ah. Yeah, if you hadn't seen the first series, you will come to learn quite quickly, I'm sure, that Dave and I have a bit of an adversarial relationship. I mean, I love him, but he don't love me. I, I tend to um, treat him a bit rough. Get our stamina's back a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna waste it now. Because if I get to a wolf, I'm screwed anyway, so. It's been a really, really, really long time since I was out this way. Well, there should be like a little side road thing up here, and that's usually where he is. Oh, relax, Dave. I was gonna say chill, but you're already chilled. Just take a deep breath, buddy. We're almost there. We'll get you nice and toasty warm. Yeah, he'd be out in here somewhere. I didn't see him. That's a good thing. Keep doing the stutter steps here. Hi, dead guy. Got anything useful for me? Anything good? No. Okay. Well, fair enough. Can't be Christmas every day. Relax, Dave. We need a pry bar, and there's probably one out here somewhere. It usually is. 
Is there a pry bar anywhere? Okay, we're gonna get screwed on the pry bar spawn, but that's fine. We'll live. Okay, let's go in. Get you nice and toasty, Dave. Get you ready for the next bit. Yeah, the first place I can sleep safely, according to my personal rules, is on the other side of the um, hydro dam. So, we don't have a lot of choice. We have got to get going. And we have got to get going soon. Um, but I am going to try and warm him up a little bit. Of course, I can't pass time. How about a sewing kit? Can I have a sewing kit? You're not a sewing kit. There's something we can do, though. We can harvest these. And that will give us a little bit of uh, leather to play with as well. Whoops. Yeah, I'm going to keep hitting C for crouch. Um, no. You know what? You'll help prevent frostbite. In handy. I'll take you. Firewood, that's something I definitely need. And tea, which is going to be good, too, at some point, because I'm going to need to heal up. Did I look there? Yeah, I did. Okay. That's all we've got in here, so... Shit, you know what? It's too cold in here to do this. Okay, never you mind. We're gonna put the hat on. And we're gonna have to go. Sorry, Dave. What we can do, though... And it's a temporary solution, but it's a perfectly viable one. Um, Alright, let's get to the um, train tunnel there. That's I know what I'm trying to say. I can English. Let's get this back out. Alright, try not to lose too much health, Dave. I'll get you running. That'll give you a little bit of a heat perk. Definitely ain't much, but it's better than nothing. Look at you, two train. Alright, look. It's the other end of this, Dave. We're almost there. Try not to get wet. Wet would suck. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Can I please, please, please? This is gonna suck. Yep, this is gonna seriously suck. Ah, uh, the first fire. This is a massive pain in the ass, because I am not equipped to make one. Alright, let's get in here out of the wind. This looks like a good spot. You know what? We need to... I hate to do it, but I need to make some tinder real quick. Alright, you're the one with the newsprint roll, so we will... Oh, well, is this going to take 10 minutes? Yeah, I'm not going to freeze to death in 10 minutes. I hope. Now, let's make a fire. I don't think I have a torch on me, so we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. And use some accelerant. Now, we're going to holster that. We're going to put some sticks on there. Get the heat up as much as possible. Please, please, please. What's the magic number for me here? Um, whoops. Alright, what bonus is that? Feels like... Where's my feels like temp? Air temperature's minus three. It feels like negative one. Okay. Brilliant. Well, that didn't work either. Are there any sticks out there? I don't think so. Oh, this is a brilliant way to start. Alright, we're gonna just grab a couple torches, I guess. We'll have a fire somewhere else when we get to somewhere else we can have one. And one more for luck. Since I wasted all my firewood on it, let's just take one with us. Yes, legal coastal highway, please. Good thing I don't believe in omens, because this would be, by definition, an ominous beginning. Can we please get somewhere warm soon. How's my hypothermia risk? Uh, halfway, and I haven't got a frostbite one yet, so... I'm not doing too, too terrible. Probably shouldn't jog across this bit. That seems like it would be a very bad idea. Oh, I love this place. I hate that I can't just walk through here quietly and slowly contemplate it, because this is probably my single favorite location in the entire game, is this trestle. I'm thinking I should actually save that. I didn't realize it was half full. Alright, get some more speed on, Dave. We're getting close. We're almost to where we can warm you up, buddy. Almost. Oh, yeah, no, coal, you're a rock. Damn it. I know you can find coal on this map in 
one or two rare places. Oh, and I tell a lie. You know what? There's a place to sleep on this map, but not in the shape we're in. Yeah, we really need to go through the dam, get nice and toasty, get more clothes, and get a ton more wood. Can I just get some sprint back, please? Every little helps. Dave, you poor thing, you're taking a pounding in episode one here. I'll let you get back to at least like a quarter of it, and then we'll go. Then we'll go. There we go. Let's run. We're almost there. Hang in there, buddy. Just other side of this bridge, friend. Other side of this bridge. I get the sense Dave's already to hurl himself off this thing already. And a bit of a sprint. Oh, we're definitely gonna have to worry about being, like, not tired enough to sleep tonight. If anything, I might run out of oomph before I get to the dam. Yeah, in a perfect world, I have better clothing than this. I have enough so that when I start the fire, I will warm up. Which, according to this, I was only gonna take another... Like, couple of items. Let's get you up in here. Hopefully find enough wood to have a fire. I've pissed away my accelerant, so that's good. But we've got torches now to help us start fires. Take another stick. In fact, I'll take all of the sticks. That was all of the sticks. Don't start yawning now. Jesus, you're fine. Now look, more food. Okay, broken arrow. Thingy. Firewood, buddy. I need firewood. I can't see shit. Um. Crap. Okay, this is stupidly dark. Why is it so dark in here? Something right there. That's a, You know what? This is life or death. I hate to do it, but... Okay. Now we can search the place probably. I was looking at goddamn rocks. Is there seriously not going to be anything in here at all? Oh my fucking word. Okay. Well, Damn. Dave... Freezing. I know you are. I am fully aware of your scenario, your situation. Relax. That's... Nope. Not a goddamn stick to be had, either. Alright, this is not going well. Okay, I'm not seeing any sticks around this. So let's just get the hell out of here. Get to the next cave and hope we get a little luckier on the wood spawn. What do you say, Dave? Nope, not cold. Okay, deep breath, Dave. Take a deep breath. You're in good hands, I promise. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he trusts me. Dead guy there. We can at least get some birch bark so we can make tea when we can have a fire. And that will help a little bit. I could definitely use a birch bark tea, that's for damn sure. Okay, no. Nope. Get up there. Come on. Dave is not doing well. Good chance you got some clothes on you. Uh. I got some of his wind back. I'm just listening to the birds. Yeah, this map is perfectly safe. There's no wolves, there's no anything on it. It's a pretty small map, too, so it's... I mean, if we have to, I'm pretty sure we can get to the dam before we run the hypothermia risk. I, well, I'm fairly sure, maybe-ish. Alright, that's birch bark. I want you. I saw a stick. Definitely need a couple more you. Definitely want you. Um, Alright, let's get up to the twin birch mine here. I say mine, it's a hole in the ground. Burst to speed, Dave. Little burst to speed. That's all you need. Alright, he is getting kind of fatigued, so I'm gonna take it a little easier on him. Especially if we can find a fire in here. Or have a fire in here. Alright, there's the two trees. There's a deer we could actually eat or cook if we have to. There's another stick. I say I'm gonna take it easy on him. I'm gonna jog over to the stick. Uh, yeah, another stick out there. Christ, the caves are dark. At least I can see shit in here. 
Okay, we got two pieces of wood this time. And we can get back in the way back and warm up a little bit, yes? Okay, we're warming up in here, so this is a good spot to do this in. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to light a torch first. Luckily, matches are not going to be an issue in this game. Now, have a fire, Dave. Okay, we got our tinder plugs. I'm going to start you with a torch. 60% chance, that's fine. We'll take it. Oh, I wasn't talking. I was waiting for him to go, come on, come on. Why didn't that work? Because you only had a 60% chance. It's fine. We've got a torch. We can do this all day. Well, at least until we run out of tin plugs, we can do this all day. Yeah, usually he's a lot mouthier than this. I don't know why he's being kind of calm. Maybe it's just because he's terrified and exhausted. Come on. Come on. There it is. I apologize. My impression wasn't very good. There we go. Okay, Dave. Time for you to warm up, buddy. Let's get... Uh, Add the fuel. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna add the sticks for the heat. Let's see what we get up to. Okay, there's two stars up. That's perfect. Now, let's kill a little bit of time. Let's harvest the sneakers. That should warm us up nicely. I don't want to repair them. I want to harvest them. Thank you. Alright, that's gonna take an hour 15. I got an hour 21. Perfect. That is exactly what I want. Uh, okay, come on. Get a grip on this. You. Harvest. Yes, please. Crap, it's getting a bit dark, though. Ah, we'll be fine. Okay, we're all nice and toasty again. Fire's out. Uh, it's starting to get windy. I should probably worry about food and water, but I can worry about that when we get into the dam. I really need to get through it before. why I feel so tired. Because I keep pushing it around like hell, Dave. It's my fault, completely. You'll get over it. We're gonna hopefully find some coffee in the dam, and you can have some coffee and just chill. Wake you up a little bit, doesn't matter anyway, because once we get through the dam, we're going to bed. I personally think it's more important... Oh, there we go. To get your ass to the dam. Ah, oh, fucking wind. Get out of the wind. Get out of the wind. Yeah, I know, we're hungry, chill. Yeah, one of the first law of the long dark. You are always, always, always going to be walking into the goddamn wind. No matter which direction you're going in or it's going in. Okay. No sticks. No sticks is more better. We need stickies. We need coal. I'm not even going to look. I mean, there's a railroad car at the other end of this, but I'm losing two arrows and I still got a long ways to go and I'm actually making myself incredibly tired and I'm half dead, so probably best I actually worry about Getting inside. Maybe we'll get lucky. We'll get an energy drink or something. I can slam into him. Oh. Just in case of the wolf. I am tempted by the trailers, but... Again, not a lot of time. I really need to get to the other side of the dam so I can sleep. And I am exhausted. It is getting close to dark, so if I don't run anymore, this should be fine. I'm not hearing any wolves, which is always nice. Okay, that can get holstered. Last burst of speed, Dave. I just don't want to walk face first into the wind. Because, frankly, it takes forever. Alright, I'll take you. I don't have any tools, so I can't harvest a frozen deer. Which is regrettable. Alright, there you go, Dave. There's the door. Come on, slow ass motherfucking Jeff. Let's go. And we're in. And we still got enough daylight to see. Okay, get the jerry can for when we find a lantern. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna need tinder, so we'll just grab those. Anything in the bookcase? Painkillers, that's nice. I'm not going to bother to search upstairs in this either. We will have much more time, he says very optimistically, when we come back through to search the whole place. And we'll be in a much better place after we get back. So 
I'm gonna pick you up. Yeah, it'll probably take, I don't know, 30, 40 days we'll be back through here. Maybe. You know what? I got all the weight in the world. Please tell me some of these are unlocked and I can have some clothing. I'll take that. Nothing, thanks. Appreciate it. Okay. Now, oh, I'm gonna try not to run anymore, remember? Uh, any good in the soda machine? I don't see anything. There's upstairs. There should be some more lockers around here somewhere. Okay, that one's locked. Right, the box. Come on. Search it. How are we doing on time? We got plenty of time. I don't have to panic now. I've never found anything good in a trash can, so the trash can can suck it. And now we got... Oh, cancel. Now we got plenty of water. Let's have a look at the food situation. We don't need a lot of calories, so we'll just eat that real quick. Just get fluffed up a little bit. Have a drink. And we'll clean up the other toilet, and then we'll hit the office and stuff and get out of here. Ooh, cargo pants. Thank you. Hopefully they're warmer than the jeans I got on. But I'm not going to worry about it in here, because we've still got, well, a lot of dam to clean out, so we'll sort our clothing out before we go outside again. Uh, oh, I see mittens. So there's hypothermia sorted. Not gonna, well, not hypothermia, frostbite. I don't have to worry about that. And we can have a little fire and make some tea if we want. Take you. In fact, I have both kinds of tea. I can take a like an herbal tea at bedtime, and then I can wake up in the morning if I'm still beat up, which I will be. And we're not going to get enough sleep to heal. There's a damn pry bar. We can do all the lockers and crap that we've skipped so far later as well. Don't need spray paint, that's useless. Ooh, maple syrup, rifle ammo. I want pistol ammo, damn it. Come on, pistol ammo is what I need. Uh, let's get a stem in here anywhere. I'd love a stem. A stem would be brilliant. I could use a stem. Trail boots already wearing. That I definitely want. I can always use more food. Oh god, I hate sardines. I literally cannot stand them in real life or in this game. Right, I'm not gonna worry about searching the drawers just yet. It's starting to get dark in here. I suppose technically it's starting to get very bright outside my house, and that's why it's starting to feel dark in here. And I saw that stem. Uh, health stuff. So cool. Tired. Fire material, I'll take that. That's what we wanted. You're not tired, Dave. You're fine. Alright, what about the drawers later? I'll grab the flare. Thank you. Alright, let's crack the safe. I'm not gonna make you watch this because it takes a little bit, but I'll see you in a few. That. Okay. Hope nobody needs this anymore. You know, burn the money. Oh, we'll take those. Yes. Okay, we are in much better shape now already. Now all we have to do is get the hell out of here. I could really use a good hat, though. I mean, we get the scarf, so it's not the end of the world. Come on, clothing. Clothing, I need clothing. What do I do here? You know what, we'll take it. How about a gun? A gun would be nice. I was gonna run, but that's no longer an option. I have officially used that option up. And I'm now going to get very, very tired. And very injured, because... Got a red bar. Man, I'm already at 50% health. You know, it would help. Be a ton of wood. Give me a ton of wood in here. That's not a ton of wood. That's crap. I'll take it. I'm not bitching. I don't have... Well, I suppose I could break down a crate. Or it's just going to cost me some health. Yes, we're speed searching this, if you're wondering. Because it is getting very, very dark. And I don't want to be in here in case there's an aurora tonight. Okay, that's what we wanted. Now we have a gun. Perfect. I'm gonna go get that one chunk of wood. Because I desperately need that chunk of wood. Plus I can search these lockers up here, so... Well, lock her. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna get the wood, we're gonna get out, and be gone. Get wood, get out, get going. I 
don't think it will let me jump. All right, give me the wood. Where's the... Okay, there's always wood in this snowbank. God damn it, really? Really? I need wood. Yeah, it's not gonna let me jump. Okay, crap. Wait a minute. Nope. Are you legit gonna make me try and play this with wood being scarce? I mean, it's not scarce, it's everywhere, but I mean, come on. Alright, well, we're gonna be breaking something down before we leave, because this ain't enough wood to keep me, like, so I can have some sleep. I'm gonna do it in here where it's warm. I'm gonna get as close to the goddamn door out though that I can get. And I think I'm gonna have to change my priorities a little bit and not worry about clothing as much. Because I've got probably enough clothes to get by. I've at least got enough that I can, you know, survive stuff. So yeah, I think we're gonna worry about getting some wood and getting the hell out is what we're gonna worry about. So I need to get to the other side of this dam so I can get some sleep. I hate getting stuck there. Now let's go see what the dead guys got for us. And then good, dead guy. I don't need disinfectant. I don't need a lantern. I'll leave those there for now. We do have lots of daylight, but not so as you can see. Alright, there's out, so let's break this down. Let's break this one down. I should have just about enough daylight left for that. And I don't think it's going to let me do the other one. Um, whoops, I need, I forgot, I gotta refuel that first. Whoops, come on. Goddamn freezing. I know, you're getting cold, relax. We're gonna go fix that right now. Let's just refuel the lantern. That will lighten the load a little bit as well. Um, I've got a ton of fuel, so... Oh shit, yeah, it got cold on me. Okay, didn't realize that was going on. All right, we're out of here. We need to go now. Emergency warm up. It's okay. We're nice and toasty. Really, you're starving and freezing in a blizzard. Uh, you're tired and freezing in a blizzard, and you're kind of hungry. And this is all you can think about. Well, that's good. It will distract you from the other problems you currently have. Oh, hello. Your your fire. I need fire. Relax, we're going to be all nice and tucked in bed here in a few minutes. Let's just chill out, Dave. Boy, I wish I had some sprint. I'm thinking too, I'm not going to have time to make the birch bark tea. Well, actually, it only takes about 10 minutes. Uh, we'll see how the timing works out on everything. Okay, come on. Get down there. Get in your little hidey hole, Dave. Oh, relax. Hey, somebody left us some wood. Nice. And some soup. Okay, you know what? Let's just put that down. Let's get the, I didn't even check. I hope to God I've got a bedroll. I do. Let's get the bedroll placed. Now, let's get a fire going. Ah. All right, lots and lots of tinder. Start the book. We'll use... Get the lamp oil to kind of get it moving. Now, yeah, let's just chuck everything. Yeah, it worked. Trust me, we're throwing everything at it. All the sticks. There we go. Alright, we got a seven hour fire. We better be warming up soon here, I would think. Yep. Now, let's cook up some tea. Did you want to make an herbal tea, please? Alright, that's got 13 minutes. How long does it take to craft the birch bark thing? That takes five. Yes, craft that one, please. We'll drink the tea tonight, we'll have the birch bark in the morning, and that will hopefully sort us out. Alright, I'm just gonna take it for now. And I'll cook. I'm gonna cook you. Please and thank you. There's that. Tell me I didn't drink it. I didn't. Alright, make sure I pick that up. Alright, 735 means we can get eight hours of sleep. Let's get some food in us. And that's a few calories. And you know what? It's 70% and you're not fussy. Although you'd think in reality I probably would eat the dog food first and wash it down with the syrup, but... <laughs> you know, needs must. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'll give us an extra can. We'll have a drink. Ah, 
All right, well, day one was interesting, so I'm going to get some sleep. And I'm actually going to carry on recording, I think, for a little bit longer, but I will cut the episode here, and the next episode will start in a few minutes for me, and, and well, probably a few days for you. But, hey, as always, I have been Digby. I thank you all for stopping by. I hope you're enjoying the long dark, and I hope to see you for the next one.